Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, this was requested by a good friend of mine, Mia Pippet. Um, She said I should do my makeup favorites. So that is what I'm here to do today. I am not a professional. Uh, this is Also, this is all just my opinion. So these might not be the best products, but these are just products I like to use. So anyway, this video could be half an hour because a lot of the stuff I have I like, so I can hardly <laughs> dwindle it down. But I feel like I got a good selection here. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you for watching and let's get into it. So I'm going to start off with face products. Um, for looks that I do, I usually don't do face products because my skin is kind of iffy. So I try to stay away from using foundation for just eye looks. Don't know if you can hear my dog. But when I do use foundation for going out and things, um, I like this Too Faced Born This Way. Um, when I was swatched, they gave me a bit of a tan, tanner shade than um, I would say my skin tone is. So I like to mix it with my concealer, which is the foundation, um, which is a Revolution makeup, Revolution London, like foundation stick. Like the two just, they kind of balance each other out and they're both medium full coverage. So I don't use too much and it has lasted me for a while. Powder. <laughs> um, I like to use this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. It's just a normal lightweight matte powder um does the job pretty easy to find and refill i think they've had it just for a while which is just a good powder after foundation um not too cakey and then i would go in with blush and i really like this blush um i'm not sure if it's just sanrio i don't know if that's like the brand i think it, they did a collab with another makeup company um, but it's like a really nice light shade, which is really nice for me. Um, and you can like layer it, you know, blend it out. Um, I just feel like it's a really nice light blush. And I think they have other shades as well. So if that's not your favorite, they have other ones. Okay. Highlight. Um, I used to like really go in on the highlight. I was like, it was kind of, <laughs> didn't, didn't do, suit me well. <laughs> but anyway. One that I do like to use um, when I feel like it is this Fenty Beauty one. I have not gotten the full size because uh, it came in like a little um, like sample like lip gloss and this and um, I love, I love it. <laughs> this is kind of what it looks like. It's obviously been used. Um, the lip gloss that I have from Fenty Beauty, also small, is gone. I really don't know where it is and I'm very sad. This one is called Hustler baby. So I like that one. Very nice formula. I don't really know the technical terms for it, but let's move on to eyeshadow. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with like more natural shades. So this eyeshadow palette, a lot of controversy around it. I feel like um, people thought there's a lot of fallout. It's kind of hard to blend, but I really like the colors and um, I really like this green along with this kind of, oh wait, sorry. These two um, together are really nice. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's a it's a controversial pa palette. I like the shades, but they are sometimes hard to blend, um, especially when my skin gets kind of dry in my eyes. It's like hard to put any eyeshadow on, but I really like the colors in this. But a better palette overall is this. Um, it is called The Tribe by Juvia's Place. And I remember Nikki Tutorials talking about it. I was like, I want it. <laughs> and again, I kind of just like the shade it has. It's like really easy to layer, blend. Um, just, it's like a, just a good palette. Um, I'll try to link the things, but I don't know how far I'll get. Um, and then these aren't necessarily palettes, but I really like Kaja Beauty's like little kind of stacks. Um, it kind of, this one has mostly, I think, just shimmers, which the shimmers are really nice, but this one has a mix of matte whoop, and shimmers. Um, and these are just really great pocket size travel. Um, I think I like this one better just because I use it for like a full look, which is basically what I'm wearing today because it has a lighter shade and then a darker shade and then a shimmer so you can do a full look whereas this is just shimmer but both great <laughs> and another kind of pocket one i like that i got recently is this um i don't know what brand it is hella 
it's like pretty nice. It has um, I use these, which is also I think actually what's on my eyes today. Nothing crazy, and then I use that uh, white shade in the inner corner. Perfect little all you really need if, if you're not going for anything crazy. So love that. Okay, sorry that I'm like talking a lot. I hope that this is like interesting. <laughs> Okay, colorful palettes. I have a few because I do a lot of colorful looks. Um, one that's really good and perfect if, not even if you're starting out, just in general, is taking me to Brazil. I would suggest um, using uh, like a white or like some kind of base because sometimes the pigment takes a while to build up but I think that it has a great array of colors. It really wasn't that expensive. I forget how much it was, but it has a lot of great colors. Um, has some like shimmers and basic colors down here, which is really nice. Um, you can basically do just a lot of things with this and I think that's great. And going along with that, this is one by Rude Cosmetics. Um, this one has I would say less shade because more of them are shimmer, which makes it a bit harder to use for looks. Um, but I think that it has great pigment. It has a nice mirror, like it's a good palette for color. And I really like the, um, just kind of like, I don't know what it has to offer. Is that a weird thing to say? <laughs> and then lastly, this is one that I have had for a while. Um, I feel like a lot of people use this for color. It is the Morphe 35B. Um, and it just has a lot of great matte shades, um, a lot of pinks. Um, so if that's something you don't want to, there's a lot of other color palette options for you there, but I really like this one. Like I said, with the other ones has just like a great array of colors. I like when things have mirrors, so that's kind of a downside, but like it's pretty great price. I would say pretty good pigment. Um, I really like it. Okay. This one isn't a eyeshadow palette, but um, there's probably other face paints you can use. There's plenty of options. This is the only one I have and I've used, but I really like it. It is a Cruise Face and Body Pink um, palette. It has a lot of different colors. Um, great for building up. I always use a white base with these, I would say, um, as you can see, but I bought a separate just, you can just buy like a thing of white face paint and I think that's best for using these on top. Um, but they're also great on their own. So it goes both ways. Okay, now we'll move on to the lips. Wait, sorry, actually before I finish with the eyes, this is the eyeliner I have been using basically forever because I use it every day, so I am not about to drop like 30 bucks on an eyeliner once a month or however often I use it. Um, NYX Matte Liquid Liner. This stuff is just good. It stays on mostly. I mean, I sometimes I reapply um, at the end of the day if I need to, but pretty much cry proof, semi waterproof. I've been to the ocean with it. It hasn't done terrible things. <laughs> For like being a drugstore um, makeup product, it's pretty good. I've been using it for a while. I really like it. Really no complaints. Um, it lasts for a pretty long time and it's about $10 or less. So I would say if you're looking for a good liquid liner, that one's pretty nice. Okay, so for lips, I'm gonna not go quick. I just have like a few products so I don't wanna spend a ton of time. For kind of lip stains or lighter, shades that I kind of like to blend out. We have a Kaja Beauty cr Crushy Vibe kind of like liquidy lipstick. It's very um, smooth so I wouldn't say it's you it's not like a liquid lipstick doesn't really dry so that's why I like to use it as a stain. Um, whereas this one does dry but you can also kind of tap it out which is a um, Revlon matte lip color and um I don't know what shade this is. I am so sorry. I do not know. It smells really good. I've had this for a long time and it just is like kind of a similar color to this one. Like a pinky, just nice, natural, perfect kind of color for me. Um, this half of this one is kind of the packaging. Um, it has like a little like unicorn 
I don't know if I lined that up right. Did I? Here, wait, no, no, no. Let me do it correctly so that you. Okay, like a unicorn. And it's by Lime Crime. And it's just kind of like a nice matte brown color. Again, this is probably one. Um, it's an, sorry, this is not one you would probably want to do as a stain. It's like pretty matte. So um, I would say just a normal lipstick. It works great. And then another one with similar color. Ooh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Dropped it. Another one with a similar color is this one by Sephora. It's just a Sephora brand lipstick. But I actually found the formula to be pretty nice. It's got like a nice applicator and I like the color, similar matte finish. So if you want something more moisturizing, I would stray away from those two. And then lastly, sorry this has been like forever. <laughs> we have lip glosses. Okay, I'm Lime Crime. Lime Crime. Again, we have a lip gloss that's called Wet Cherry Gloss. And this one is... um in shade Disco Cherry, and I just really like the glitter it has. It's kind of like white iridescent. I like the applicator. I find it to be great for um, kind of my more out there looks. You probably could wear it every day if you wanted to, like go off, but like a white gloss is kind of iffy for that. But a probably normal everyday gloss, if you want to wear pink, is really, that, oh my god, it's really nice, is this, I think it's Rimmel London. Um, it's like a travel size, but I've been using it for a while, and it's lasted me, and the formula is just really great. It's like a really pretty pink shimmer shade. Um, don't really need anything underneath. It's called Hot Number. Ooh, always the weirdest names for lipsticks. Okay. And oh my god! We're done. <laughs> okay, so I know that was like a lot of me talking. Um, but nonetheless, I hope you got something out of it. Whether it was just me rambling and you got bored, I'm very sorry. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Wow.